Let's read a bit from the uh, JPS Tanakh, uh, the Jewish scriptures, English translation, 1985, I believe. Exodus chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. You must not carry false rumors. You shall not join hands with the guilty to act as a malicious witness. You shall neither side with the mighty to do wrong. You shall not give perverse testimony in a dispute so as to pervert it in favor of the mighty, nor shall you show difference to a poor man in his dispute. When you encounter your enemy's ox or ass wandering, you must take it back to him. When you see the ass of your enemy lying under its burden and would refrain from raising it, you must nevertheless raise it with him. You shall not subvert the rights of your needy in their disputes. Keep far from a false charge. Do not bring death to those who are innocent and in the right, for I will not acquit the wrongdoer. Do not take bribes, for bribes blind the clear-sighted and upset the pleas of those who are in the right. You shall not oppress a stranger, for you know the feelings of the stranger, having yourselves been strangers in the land of Egypt. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the 17th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2023. Israel, how can you be so blind to your own sin? Was not Yom Kippur just a few days ago? Is not the time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur supposed to be a time of repentance? To see whether God will receive you? You cannot come before God in prayer with blood on your hands. And your government, what do they propose to do? If I understand it properly, the current crazy government in Israel, we have a crazy government in the United States too, wicked, evil, is determined to rebuild, to build the third temple on the Temple Mount. Let me instruct you in your own scriptures. David was unwilling to even take the threshing floor as a gift from the Jebusite. He insisted on purchasing it. He was unwilling to offer an offering that cost him nothing, an offering for his own sin, who had, uh, his sin which resulted in the death of, I believe, 70,000 Israelites. Because of his disobedience, and his pride in deciding to conduct a census of Israel, something which God had forbidden in the law. Perhaps you haven't read the scriptures, your scriptures, the law, and the prophets. I have. So, if I understand this right, their plan is to seize the Temple Mount, destroy the, the, uh, the place of worship for the, the Muslims there, who, who believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob also. And you're going to build a temple to the God of justice and mercy while your hands are covered with blood. You're going to steal the land. Unlike David, who insisted on purchasing it, even when it was offered to him as a gift, with the oxen and everything else, no, you're going to steal it. That from something that does not belong to you, from people that are unwilling to give it to you, and build a temple to the God of justice and mercy. I don't think that's going to go so well with him. He will not 
inhabit that temple. God does not dwell in temples built by human hands anyway. And you're doing this for who? Will this get favor with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? The God of justice? The God of righteousness? You've got to be kidding. How blind are you? It will simply bring his wrath down on you, which is already upon you because your hands are covered with blood. You are not doing what the prophets commanded, to do justly, to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. You're not even doing that. What you're doing is the very thing that was done to you some 80 years ago. You are dispossessing people driving them into camps and ghettos, walled-up ghettos, and then you are murdering them. The same things that were done to you some 80 years ago. And you call that justice? Do you think, what do you think God thinks of <clears throat> your actions? You've demonstrated that you are no better than those who did these things to you. Are you so blind? Do you not understand that God, who is just, kept your ancestors in Egypt for 400 years until the iniquity of the Amorites was full? In other words, God was unwilling to dispossess them of the land, his land, for all the earth is his land, until it was just to do so. God will not hear your prayer. And you don't understand the meaning of repentance. A change of heart. A change of attitude. You cannot come before God while you're doing what you're doing. And this is just the latest in a long series of injustices. We've been kept quite ignorant of these things in the United States. Our media only shows Israel's side. Strange. Once in a while, it accidentally slips through. A number of years ago, I saw Israel attacking Gaza using white phosphorus. I see you're still doing the same crime. And it, indeed, it is a crime. Using white phosphorus on civilians is a crime. Absolutely a war crime. Uh, bombing up entire cities. You know, once upon a time, bombs were pretty inaccurate. Not that what the Allies did in World War II wasn't crimes, too, and the Germans. Crimes. Crimes. Bombing civilians. Crimes. Deliberate bombing of civilians. Crimes. United States. War criminals. They weren't prosecuted, were they? Why is that? Why are the victors never prosecuted? Do you think God ignores it? If you do, you're foolish. What will you do with your sins, O Israel? The Messiah has come. He has made full atonement. That temple you plan to build will only be a monument that you have rejected him. So why do you murder those who are responding to your murders of them? Why do you continue this? Why do you continue to demonstrate that you're as bad as the worst of the world? That you're no different? Why, don't, can't, why can't you look in the mirror and see your own sin 
and then maybe repent of it. Repent of your own evil. You have sown the wind and you're reaping the whirlwind. And now all the world sees what you're doing. Except those who are willfully blind. Like the people in Washington that you purchased already. Will you continue this or will you stop? God will avenge the blood of these people on you. Don't you understand that? Don't you know your own history? Don't you know that God dispossessed you from the land because of things like these very acts, bloodshed, killing the innocent, killing, killing those that were guilty of no crime, just like was done to you? Cannot you see? Are you so blind? Or have you given yourself over to your own vice, like so many people in Washington have? Given themselves over to their sins. If you don't turn back from this course, bad things are going to happen. God will avenge the blood of those children that lay under that shattered concrete. Yes, and he will avenge the blood of the children that Hamas butchered too. God is a God of justice. Justice is not racist. God is not like wicked human beings. He's absolutely just. And that, if you remember him, perhaps you will begin to fear him. For he is just. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Currently, Israel has no wisdom. Israel has cut themselves off from God. Repent and return to him, and he will return to you.